I'm Mike Nelson. Here's the update from the DenverChannel.com. Low pressure system will quickly race across Colorado during the next 18 hours. As it does, the heavy snows will work their way off the mountains onto the plains and then zip on out of here toward the eastern United States. This storm system is going to be such a fast mover that the mountains will get the brunt of it during the nighttime and early morning hours, 5 to 10 inches of snow. But by early Monday, we'll get snow along the front range. You can see those strong north winds setting up, and that will set the stage for a brief period of accumulating snow, one to three inches Denver and to the east, but with the strong winds, we could have blizzard conditions developing, especially east of a line from about Fort Morgan down to Lyman, out to the Kansas-Nebraska border. Temperatures will stay on the cold side behind the system with highs mostly in the 20s and 30s, some milder weather southeast, but in general, a chilly President's Day expected. A little more snow moving back into the mountains by early on Tuesday. As far as the snowfall amounts, they're not gonna be huge, most readings are going to be in the 6 to 10 inch range over the higher elevations. A drier slot from just to the southwest of Denver down through Pueblo and Trinidad. Heavier snows out to the east and that area out on the eastern plains is the biggest concern as far as these blizzard conditions. Especially once you get east of Aurora, east of Bennett and then on out toward the Kansas border. That's where the worst weather is going to be. Much lighter snows expected over much of the metro area but still kind of a raw cold Monday. Only 34 for a high. Tuesday back to 45. 52 by Wednesday. Wind and snow comes back into the mountains late Wednesday and Thursday we could have a few flurries on the plains. Back to 50 by Saturday and then another mountain storm with some flurries expected at lower elevations by next Sunday.